only a handful of people have these tiny holes by their ears and here's the fascinating reason why the chances are that you know at least one person with a tiny hole somewhere above their ear in fact it's quite a common condition but the hole isn't just a leftover scar from a piercing gone wrong and if you've ever wondered why some people have these curious tiny dimples it turns out there may actually be a scientific reason for them indeed even though the human body is a truly amazing thing there's no denying that it throws up all manner of oddities and there are plenty of such comparatively uncommon conditions that people experience from birth these are relatively benign like a single traverse palmar crease or a crease along the palm or more serious like congenital heart problems heart problems for instance can result in breathing difficulties in newborns and require treatment to ensure that the heart remains functional however not all abnormalities are as serious as this many are in fact harmless and if you've ever seen anyone with a tiny dimple above their ear then you may have never realized that it was even a thing in fact unless close family members loved ones or you yourself are affected by the condition then you may have never come across it but while these markings are only apparent on a small percentage of the population they're more common than you may think and as you might have guessed they're entirely natural and are present from birth the number of people with these holes varies from country to country however in the US and UK for example less than 1% of the population is observed to have this condition in Asia and some African nations though this total may be as high as 10% and these mysterious holes are scientifically known as pre auricle sinuses or congenital auricle fistulas they go by many other names though for instance you may have heard them referred to as ear pits or guess wine holes furthermore these strange birth defects were first noted some 150 years ago indeed the earliest recorded description of the congenital malformation was made in 1864 by a scientist named van Housinger and while the majority of cases of pre auricle sinuses are unilateral meaning that they're only present in one ear there are some cases which people have them on both in fact it's thought that between 25 and 50 percent of people with the condition have it on both ears it's also worth noting that having a pre auricle sinus is not in itself dangerous and although there's a chance that the hole may become infected antibiotics can usually help clear things up sometimes though an affected person may wish to have the hole removed there's a disagreement in the medical community however as to whether all cases should be repaired or only those that cause issues such as infections if it's removed then a specialist surgeon must perform the procedure due to the proximity of the ear pit to the nerves in the face typically a plastic surgeon a head and neck specialist or an otolaryngologist a surgeon who specializes in ear nose and throat medicine would complete the operation several health issues are associated with a pre auricle sinus however for instance it's one of the indicators of Beckwith Weidman syndrome this disorder increases the risk of childhood cancer in those affected by it and while it's far rarer there have been some cases where pre auricle sinuses have been linked to branchioaudorenal syndrome inheriting the genetic disorder can lead to children having non-functioning or missing kidneys what's more anomalous openings and skin tags around the ears are a noted symptom of the disease as for when the pre auricle sinuses first appear it's in the embryonic stage of the development of a fetus when the pharyngeal arches form in humans and other animals these arches will eventually make up the head and neck but why are they even a condition in the first place well scientists have come up with some extraordinary theories about why some people are affected by this peculiar malformation in fish for instance the pharyngeal arches not only form the neck and head but also the gills evolutionary biologist Neil Shubin has therefore theorized that pre auricle sinuses could in fact be an evolutionary remnant of fish gills for now however this remains just a hypothesis and one that hasn't been scientifically proven of course humans still carry around plenty of evolutionary quirks that aren't actually necessary for our bodies to function the coccyx and appendix for instance are both genetic legacies that we've inherited from our ancestors it doesn't seem that much of a stretch of the imagination then for the pre auricle sinus to be a similar case of nature playing catch-up until we know for sure however the ear pit should be considered just a relatively harmless male formation next time you spot someone with a tiny dimple above their ear though you'll know exactly what it's all about and if you sport one yourself you can now rest easy knowing that in most cases it's absolutely nothing to worry about please share this video with your friends below